Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Maxine Waters goes way too far, slams Donald and Melania with a nasty insult. Maxine Waters muttered a mind-blowing insult towards Donald and Melania Trump with a nasty insult that went way too far. It went too far because she was being majorly ignorant and showing her lack of understanding basic technology that has been present in electronic devices for years. The Democrat from California tried to insult President Trump and First Lady Melania, but her jokes simply made her look unintelligible when it comes to being up to date on basic modern devices. Her joke fell flatter than a theory by the Flat Earth crowd as she drew the imaginary booze and tomato tossings that a real-life flop in the comedy circuit would get when they can't tell a joke. Maxine was daring, tried, and yet failed to insult the president in any way that would make people laugh or really hit a home run on a point she was swinging at. Her joke? She tried to say Donald couldn't spell Melania's name. This all came after Donald had tweeted something and autocorrect messed it up by switching her name to Melanie which is the more commonly used name. Of course, Melania is quite unique and that's not even including her name. Rep. Maxine Waters, DCA, claimed on Saturday that President Donald Trump does not know how to spell the name of his wife, First Lady Melania Trump. He's over there supposedly meeting on NATO, Waters told the California Democratic Party's Women's Caucus in Oakland over the weekend, according to the San Francisco Chronicle. He doesn't know a darn thing about it. He doesn't even understand what GDP is. As a matter of fact, he doesn't even know how to spell his own wife's name. Waters was referring to a tweet sent by the Commander-in-Chief on May 19, where autocorrect, a spelling correcting function on every iPhone and nearly every smartphone device, automatically populated an E instead of an A at the end of Melania's name because Melanie is a far more common spelling of the name. Melania had just arrived home to the White House after receiving treatment for a kidney condition. Trump's critics had a field day attacking the president, and his intellect, over the error. On Saturday, Waters continued to rail against Trump, saying, he tells us that he's such a patriot, that, he loves the flag. But he doesn't know the words to the star-spangled banner. So just forget him. He lies every day. Waters, on this occasion, was referring to Trump singing along with the words of the star-spangled banner during an opening ceremony in January. Trump would sing a few words, then stop singing, prompting accusations that he forgot, or did not know. The words to the national anthem Did President Trump forget the words to the national anthem? Read a headline from the BBC. Trump attempts to sing national anthem but can't be bothered to finish, wrote the Huffington Post. Twitter convinced Trump doesn't know the lyrics to God Bless America, USA Today suggested. Waters was one of the first Democrats in her party to champion the idea that Trump should be as impeached. In June 2017, while speaking at the Los Angeles Pride Parade, which had transformed into a resistance march, Waters led the crowd in a chant of Impeach 45, saying, He is not my president. He is not your president. He lies. He cheats. He's a bully. He disrespects us all. If he thinks he can mess with the LGBT community, he better look at what happened right here in West Hollywood. I know some are a little hesitant. I know some are saying I'm not so sure, Maxine, that what you are saying is the right thing, but I'm saying, Impeach 45. Impeach 45. Does Maxine Waters live in America and is she a citizen? Yes and yes. That means Donald Trump is her president. Also, if she's saying he's not her president, then she can't impeach him. Can't impeach someone who's not your president, right? She didn't think that one through very well, did she? Maxine lives in a mansion while the people in her 43rd district live in horrible squalor conditions. People on the streets, feces everywhere and she's living lavishly on the taxpayer dollar as she creates her legacy as the poverty pimp. What does she really do for anyone besides run her mouth? The people living on the streets in her California district probably don't even know who she is or what she does. If they're homeless, then what access to media do they have besides what they see on the sides of buildings or in stores? Why does Maxine Waters, at her ripe age of 79, do to support those living in poverty? Why are some of the most impoverished cities in America being lead into the land of the poor by the Democrats? Bad jokes and a district that looks like the SH tolls that Donald Trump mentioned don't bode well for Maxine Waters. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.